art schools are wild. I think I went to art schools since elementary, but I was in band. Uh, first through sixth grade, I was in violin, first, second, and fourth grade. Uh, then I was in third grade, I was in a uh, normal band, of which I played the saxophone, soprano, because I was too tiny and could not carry the alto saxophone. So, yeah. And fifth grade, I was on flute, which was probably the instrument I was best at out of all of them. Three years of violin, not my best. Flute, yeah. <laughs> um, some of you might not know what dysgraphia is, so I'll tell you. It's the inability to write, often caused by brain damage. Now, I have got this miraculous brain damage that causes like the memory, muscle memories in my hand to like not work or something. I don't know. All I know is it's really hard for me to write. <laughs> and. Oh, trust me, if you're saying, oh, I must have it because my handwriting is awful, you don't. Or probably, I don't know, some of you might have it. I don't know how common it is. But this also can happen with, like, art. I can't draw really well, even though most of my family is artists. I wasn't good at that. Good, da, da, da. good at that. Um, I was often, but in, like, elementary school I was often praised for writing. I was like, she's got really good detail in her stories, it's really nice, it's a nice story, but we can't read it. So my mom was like, alright, oh, what's wrong with her? She showed me the guidance counselor. I didn't do any tests, they just showed me like, my writing. The guidance counselor was like, yeah, no, she's got dysgraphia, probably because of something with her brain or whatever. So they gave me my accommodations. I can take pictures of the board, I have to use a pencil, where can others can use a pen. Trust me, my handwriting is worse than a pen. It does not matter. Um, there are other things uh, that I cannot remember. I have extra time because, you know, things suck and it's really hard for me to write stuff out and that takes extra time. So, like, I learned how to fa like paraphrase notes real fast, by the way. Where others write, like, a sentence, I write two words. I know what that means. No one else does. <laughs> Anyway, I went to audition for creative writing, and I told the, uh, the teacher, I was like, hey, everything I'm going to write is going to be typed, it's all going to be nice and typed and in this folder, and she was like, hey, that's fine. I would prefer, actually, if you did that, because it's terrible deciphering kids' handwriting, and no one wants that. <laughs> um, I auditioned, I turned it in, I got in, in seventh grade I was in creative writing, and it started my long adventure of writing. Uh... This is also, we're not talking about this, I, the teacher who terrified me away from writing for like years. Fourth grade, I considered joining because that's when they put creative writing into my elementary school. Uh, but the teacher whom I thought taught it hated me, so I didn't join. And I just kept with band, something I hated for a really long time because of a terrible teacher who treated me awful. Treated me awful. I just turned a word that is not... <laughs> Incorrect. Don't use that in a sentence, folks. Writing is hard. It's... I have some stories about creative writing that aren't, like, big long enough for their own video, but I can share here. First of all, let's get the rumor out of the way. Creative writing is not just another English class. I write short stories for homework almost every night, not to mention poems and essays. It's a lot of work. They're also not persuasive essays. They're creative essays, like personal experiences and all that junk. Um, and also, creating a short story is really hard to do, especially when you're trying to get a uh, climax, when you're trying to think of everything, like a characterization, plot, genre, um, point of view, which point of view is so important, and I didn't know this until this year. It's just... You don't understand until you've taken a class in creative writing and you have been told this point of view doesn't work, switch to this, and you've had to tell people that. I've been like, this is not a good point of view for you. This story would work much better in first person. Also, you don't need to be dropping brain brand names every other sentence. We get it, they're rich. I, I'm calling out the people. <laughs> She's the person I critiqued was a good writer. It's just, you know, all, everyone in my class is a good writer. Um, and they have a lot of potential. Just, it's very clearly that not everyone wants to be there for writing. 
Not that there aren't good people, they're every one of my classes, a really nice person. You know. Um, also, creative writers are really good at destroying things. Uh, like, really good. I remember, beginning of the year, it was like the freshmen and seniors in the gym. Uh, creative writing freshmen and seniors in the gym. Because the sophomores and juniors were all doing, uh, pre-stat or something. And they were just, you know, testing. So it was like, hey, we'll all just get together in the gym, have some fun. Uh, while others were probably getting really important updates on their arts area and what would be going on for the next few days, we played games and ate cookies. Uh, and to anyone who goes to my school, if you're wondering why one of the days, like just after the preset, if the basketball hoop was knocked down, yeah, that was us. Um, I don't know what kid it was, but they hit it with like a beach ball and it just fell. It was gone. It wasn't coming back up. Yeah, we're good at destroying things. At, at the middle school I went to, uh, there was a creative writer in my class. I'm not going to say her name. Uh, she threw a stitch doll at a painting, and the painting just fell. It was a moment that I will never forget. There's also the thing that my uh, creative writers were often in my middle school just kind of shoved into the back closet of the library. It's not an often. Our classroom was this like little storage closet in like the back library. It was also where art history took place and journalism. <laughs> so like, you know, all the classes no one wants you to know about. I have to take a play and playwrights test next year and I hate reading plays. Like Romeo and Juliet is boring. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't like how there's no description. Like I can visualize it fine. I just like description in that way. I think it's mostly because all of creative writing I'm intending show, don't tell. Also, dialogues, both showing and telling, therefore you want to describe more than you do dialogue, but you're gonna end up splitting it in half anyway because it's really hard not to include dialogue. <sighs> writing is hard. It's 